Hello and welcome. Uh, we are joined today here by Tom Duday from the Adelaide Crows. Mate, welcome to Corn Style. Thanks for having me, mate. No worries at all. Uh, we're going to jump straight into our five questions uh, segment with Tom. What would be your, I guess, your biggest mic drop moment from last year? Mic drop moment? I reckon our first win was pretty big. Uh, I think we started the year 0 and 13, so then. Our first win wasn't exactly a mic drop in the sense of like cop that AFL because uh, that was one and one and thirteen. But just the, the build up to that game and how how we played well in the previous weeks and we thought we were close and then the feeling of finally getting that win with the young bunch and having everyone in the circle and pouring Gatorade and then playing music after the game and celebrating was it was a pretty good moment. A little bit of a mic drop. Well, uh, I would have yeah, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. You've got to have a bit of a. Not a nemesis, but maybe a frenemy. Who in the club is it uh, and why? We've got a, a couple actually. So, so my locker, I'm number 39. So to my right is Lockie Scholl, number 38. Yep. And then to my left, number 40, Ben Davis. Um, very close with both of them. Um, Lachlan Scholl lived with me and I lived with Ben when I first moved over, but neither of them are particularly clean and neat. Um, <laughs> and I'm a bit of a OCD neat freak. So at least one of their shoes or socks or training gear will be in front of my locker every day. I once actually took Ben Davis' backpack and put it in our dirty laundry thing where our towels go. Um, forgot to tell him about it. The bag got taken to the washing, washing uh, machine and they thought it was a towel. They put it through, realised something was wrong and the next day his bag was returned in like a dry clean and clear <laughs> bag. And uh, that's the sort of level I got to with, with them too because it's just so regular that something is in, in my way. Love them both the bits, but yeah, very, very frustrating. frustrating yeah. You used to be a state basketball, a state basketballer. Correct. Uh, playing for Vic Country, the yep. Supercats. Spot on. My basketball knowledge, um, you know, basically ends at me throwing something towards a bin and shouting swish. Yep. Um, you know, clearly a born athlete. We're uh, obviously cut from the same plot. <laughs> very, very similar plot, yeah. If you could give us like a, a bit of a, like a little how-to on on, uh, on how to perfect the jump shot. Jeez, I don't know if I've ever been asked this. Every, everyone that plays basketball from about the age of six to 10 gets taught. Um, when I was coming up, it was, it was I think it was beef, they called it, which was, it was basically balanced. So you have like one foot in front of the other. Um, elbow, so you want your elbow up, you want eyes on the ring, and then follow through is the biggest part. So they talk about like having your fingers follow towards the ring. And you see pretty much every NBA player, any great shooter in the world has some form of that where they just hold it up and then you know when you see yeah, curry yeah. curry shoots it and he just watches it and then <laughs> it's because he knows it's going in because his hands facing it it feels good so yeah. if i go to a court and just think about beef i'm not going to be throwing buckets all day that's not uh no if you don't think if you're thinking of actual beef probably not <laughs> uh, if you think of the acronym beef you might have a better chance like, they'll start to drop hopefully unless you're absolutely terrible <laughs> oh, <I> mean, yeah. <laughs> in which case you're no, you're no chance anyway i wish i could still dunk i, I don't know I'm, I'm too scared to because i've had so many injuries if i try dunking and i might yeah. might do something so i'll just leave that till uh later on in my career. We'll certainly not try in the back of a high looks either. Nah, it's a, nah. It's a long way down. I nearly hurt myself now. getting up here to start with because <laughs> it's so, such a high, high bar, but yeah. So you clearly don't get a rig like yours chowing down on meat pies all day. Um, you. If you could pick three foods, that you could exclusively feed to Ben Davies? I, I can't stand tomato. Yeah. Um, I've got two brothers and my old man both hate it. My mum loves it, but so we grew up not eating that. So I'd give Ben tomato, uh, Brussels sprouts, just can't do it. Um, my, my partner's family, they all love them. I just can't, <laughs> I can't do with the taste or anything. Um, I'm not a big egg man at all. I don't like eggs. So they were my five questions uh, for Adelaide Pro Star Tom Duday. Uh, if you have a question that you'd like to ask, uh, please just pop it down in the comments and we'll make sure we ask it next time we catch up. Fire away.